Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Welcome to Thrive Heavy Lies the Crown, which is, in my opinion, a pretty good uh, title. That's a, that's. Uh, I agree. Well done, video game. I like this title. Now, the question is: Is this game worth purchasing? What are we dealing with? How does it set itself out from other colony simulator slash RTS type games? That's what I'm going to find out for you. I have spent twenty eight Canadian dollars so that you don't have to. Unless you, of course, do like this video, then you probably should go buy it. Oh, okay, unrelated. What's this all down? Look down here, at the bottom right. Canada Media Fund, Le Fonds des Médias du Canada. Well, this is, I didn't know this was a Canadian game. Anyway, everybody should play this game now. So, uh, let's dive in. If there's a tutorial, if there's a tutorial, I may uh, zip through. I don't know, maybe we just go blind into it. We, you guys sometimes like the blind look, so let's do a blind look. Um, select your province. Oh, I, okay, okay. Well, that's that's big. I've got to really think if I want to prov... For some reason, Asnor is really doing it for me. It's coastal. I don't have any mountains, though. Loving this map right now. I'm rehearsing a play. Uh, of, uh, uh, we're, we're doing The Hobbit. And I'm looking at these kinds of maps a lot. Obviously, the Tolkien-style maps are very... Uh, a little simpler, but this is very nice art so far. Okay. I'm gonna go Asnor. Color one, color two. No, let's change it up a bit. Resources, apples, flax, hemp. Okay, I can pick here. Uh, national flag, uh, hemp, herb, flax, apples. Okay. Um, Nazwia? I think I'm just gonna go Asnor. I, I don't know, whatever. It's got flax, it's got hemp, it's got herbs, it's got apples. I don't know, does it, is there, wait, do any of them have anything different? They all have the same. Okay, well that's not gonna be a problem then, so we're gonna go Asnor. National flag. Do I get to change my... No, I don't get to change. Okay, fine. I mean, it's early access, so that's probably what it is, where we're at right now. We're, we're not... Uh, I don't. I didn't mind the orange, to be honest. For some, There's something about the orange that I kind of like. This one. It's a little bit more medieval. I'm going to do it. Loading lockstep. Don't know what that is. Oh, no. Um, but, yeah, there, there, there's... Um, I, I assume there's going to be some more stuff coming in. It's early access. They're going to develop, like, you know, different uh, you know, flag types and, and colors and whatnot. But that, you know, it's one of those things where you can... It's very cool that you can customize, but then you kind of don't really notice it in the game when you're playing. I have yet to see a game, even Manor Lords, which does kind of give it... A, it's probably the best version of this. It doesn't really... You don't see your flag around that much once you've, you know, picked your emblem. I guess if you zoom in. Reticulating splines! Ah, I love it. I wish they had that the voice from uh, SimCity 2000. Reticulating splines. Two months since the fall of Aldamor, since you gathered up the survivors and set forth for towards a new home, Nisamor is the future. A land free from the terrors of the past. Here you will raise up a new kingdom, guided by the loyal advisors who form your Curia. Advisors are quite knowledgeable, but none can deny their self-interest. In the end, you alone will set the tone of your rule. Where does your interest lie? Oh, okay, okay, okay. We rise with vigilant... Uh, vigilance scarred but unbroken. Prosperity, pers prosperity's pursuit ensures a bountiful pro future. Where wisdom is grown, little fear remains. Oh, so vigilance in terms of, I guess, like, oh crap. Okay, this is tough. But I, I, I assume I know what it's, what it's setting me up for. It's like this is so that you don't, um, you know, this is, this is more. You're gonna get a buff in your research. You're gonna get a buff in your uh, resources. Let's go resources. Continue. Oh, it begins. Okay. Would you like to play the tutorial? What do you think, folks? I mean, it's all right down here. I don't know. Do we play the tutorial? Let's play the tutorial really quickly. Okay. A new home. Well done, Your Majesty. Now that we found your new home, let's move your caravan location uh, to the location that's best suited for your keep. Okay. I don't know. It seems pretty good. Let's see what's around here. Okay. Cameras. Okay. Zoom in. Rotate view is Q and E, Z and X for zoom out, but you can do all the usual, all the usual mouse stuff. There's no surprises here. I see no water on this map. This map is smaller than what I saw. I thought it was going to be coastal. Well, let's just go right in the center because, again, we don't really know what, you know, how to play the game yet. So we're going to go here. We're going to go here. Okay. Load resources. Oh, very cool. Is this, like, how? Okay. Hang on. How in the weeds is this going to get? Load resources. I love the graphics. F um, farthest Frontier-esque a little bit, right? Okay, deploy your caravan and place your keep. Okay, let's deploy this bad boy. Deploy! Issue detect... Oh. <laughs> yeah, provide 
Caravan provides a means to move goods, people, and resources across the lands of Nisa. More common uh, uses include the shipment of goods, rations, and supplies for military units. Okay. So we need to deploy another structure. A trader's hut. Uh, pack the caravan back up or get a keep going. This is very large. Okay, so the building buildings are large. Grid placement. Holding down control doesn't really do anything. Oh, what was that red? R to rotate. So no surprises there. Loving it so far. I guess we can go near this. I don't... I don't I'm not sure what... There's no... Uh, mountains, but I guess that's the thing I picked. I picked, like, deep plains, didn't I? So let's go... Obviously, we're going to deforest one of these things. Space occupied. That's what it's saying. Okay. Uh, let's go here. So it's kind of like north oriented. Voila! No path. Okay. We'll worry about that later. Uh, place your keep. Very good. Oh, man. I don't know. I just... Oh, oh. Slow down time. Slow down. No, we're at the slowest time. Okay. So they just run. They get going. Oh, this is fun. Oh, I like that. It's quick. It's very quick. But I like it. Oh, that was fast. Okay, let's pause for a second here. The keep was constructed at the heart of the kingdom. A primitive stockpile is a central hub. Yeah, of course. Area of influences. So st this is an area of influence type builder game. At the bottom of your screen, you'll note the build menu. Hey, you unpaused the game on me. Excuse me. Oh, this is great. Okay, okay. Logistics. Bridge. Dirty. Dirt, <laughs> dirt road. Probably right down the center. You know what I mean? Oh, unpausing it. Oh. Right down the center. I want a, I want a thick road. And I want the road to be like so. Uh, just, I don't know, because. We're, we're figuring it out. Okay. Primitive stockpile. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is its area of influence. Not a lot of influence area. Very small area for how big the buildings are. So the stockpile, uh, maybe that should have been closer to more industry buildings. I don't know. We'll put some farming around here, I guess, or something. Okay, love this part. This is my favorite part to watch. Love this. Looks very nice, doesn't it? Now this is one, so we're talking about this on Citadelum, but this is one issue that I always have with grid builders, which is that the road, you could, I think more could be done to etch it into the dirt, or or what, what Citadelum did, which was really nice, is they offered a way for you to actually like carry on that same type of road, that dirt, underneath the building it was uh, close to, so it kind of gives it a more worked in look. Uh, primitive stock now implies our workers can uh, properly uh, stow their gathered resources for later use. Create a means for them to harvest the logs and rough stone. Uh, required to construct them. Okay, with um, the logistics tab of the build menu, locate the courier camp and logger camp. Please insert next to their corresponding resources. If a material can be harvested by camp, they will be outlined. Workers and resources camps will harvest and deliver these raw resources to the stockpile. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Whence are stones? Oh, plenty of stones here. So we must do it. That's probably the best one there. Now let us get a stone. Let's get a dirt road to, to feed this. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay, I have yet to figure out how that... It's weird when the mouse disappears when you do that. Okay. Man, they are all definitely warning me that they need food, by the way. Uh, or uh, housing, rather. Uh, by the way, y'all. Do we chop back there? Do we chop this down? Let's chop this down. Rotate? Yeah, these buildings don't rotate, which is, like, how do we feel about that? I think it's okay. Uh, food stores in every neighborhood provides uh, nourishment and other consumables for your citizens. Like the primitive stockpile, uh, your people will travel to and from this building to move supplies. Without access to the structure, you need to go on met and then revolt. Okay, so it's pr pretty general, pretty standard situation here. So we press once to bring the road out. Well, that's not too bad. That's makes perfect sense to me. I'm going to get that path out there. Okay. So we've got uh, woods being chopped. Okay, food stores. Oh, interesting. I like the grid lines. I do like giving out the guidelines like that. That's kind of nice. So I'm going to put it like down here. Oh, this caravan is still doing stuff. I'm going to just put it down here. Again, we don't know why. I don't know how big things are going to get. Obviously, bigger than I thought. I'm going to bring that road out here. Oop. There. Obviously, going to be bigger than I thought. Uh, but... You know, that's the... Because, like, I mean... Uh, oh! Did not know you could do... Ooh! I did not know you could do that. Look at this here. The purples have taken over some land. Seems to be the only other uh, people here. Okay. Well, that was cool. Didn't know I could do that. But anyway, yeah. Like, we're going to fill this map fairly quickly, I think. Runs pretty smooth, though. Honestly, it's ticking a lot of boxes so far. But the question with these games, right, is always... 
uh, what sets them aside? What uh, what makes this game one of the grid builders you should buy? And and it's sometimes it comes down to aesthetic. Do you know what I mean? Like with Citadelum, it's like, well, because I want to play Rome. So sometimes that could be a thing. Um, I'm placing the well because there's no way that they're going to be like, um, you didn't need to place the well. They're going to need water. And I think I'm going to build housing around this area. Or at least that's my dream. So is that going to be in logistics? No, laborer structures. Laborer house, craftsman. Okay, they're probably going to unlock that in a second once I've built the food stores. Farmer structures, farmhouse, and a wood chopper. A wood chopper? Don't I have... What is this? What did I make? A logging camp and a, a quarrier's camp. Okay, okay. So the wood chopper probably makes, I assume, firewood. Yes. And we're not doing it right now. So, honestly, I'm just going to put one down. Wait. Let's see, workers can gather and store the resources necessary to construct additional buildings in your kingdom. 60 logs and 80 rough stone should provide sufficient for your immediate needs. We'll continue once these supplies have been obtained. Already we're good on the rough stone. Logs any second now. I'm going to get a wood chopper going. Although they should probably be... You know, let's let's wait. Let's wait. Two critical needs. Apples and firewood. Build an apple orchard and a wood chopper. The apple orchard must be placed within the AOL... AOI of food stores. Permanent stockpile. Okay, great. I the worker count the greater the yield of the farm produces as a rule. Apple orchards with five workers can supply enough food to satisfy a population of 100. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, as your need for okay, 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 let's do it, let's do it. Apple orchard with, oh, hang on. It's like a, do it back here, I guess? No, does it do it here. Do I click and drag? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I see. So we want to, it's going to tell us how many people can hold. So five is enough for a bazillion, for a good hundred people. I mean, it's in a medieval village, so it's not like we have to have the farms far away. It's not like city skylines or something where you're like, have a rural area. One, two, three, four, five. Done. All right. Uh, let's get a road out there. Uh, oops. Uh, farmer? Where is it? Logistics. Yeah. Dirt road. Okay, you're going to be a problem, caravan. Caravan? Is this caravan done yet? Pack the caravan back up for travel. Caravan store. It's got nothing in it. So you come over here. Get out of the way. Dirt road. What else do I need to build? A wood chopper. I told you. I told you I was going to need to build a wood chopper. Come on. I know this game. I know how these games work. Come on. Wood chopper. I might as well put it right, I don't know, here. Again, like, yeah, we're just getting to know the game, obviously. But, like, we can think aesthetics some other time. Kind of a nice, like a soft, a nice daylight cycle so far. Day-night cycle. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, very simple. Um, yeah, very simple, like a sort of employee management system. So far, I'm finding the game nice and intuitive, which I do like. Homes of Thatchwood and provide housing. Now, what do they need to be in the... I am assuming they need to be near the granary. Or the food store, rather. So I zoom out, and it's like water here. So the yellow, the Venn diagram. What is this circle? Is that this one? Primitive stockpile. Oh, firewood. Yeah, because they want to get firewood, too. Uh, the area a building is able to affect is the AOI. I don't... I know that already. These are color-coded. Gray, blue, green. So uh, some resources can have their AOI adjusted. To oh! Wait, 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 wait. That's awesome. Where? How? Show me. Adjust the AOI of resource camp. Is that, not, is that what this is? No. One of these. Logging camp. Oh! That's cool. Oh, very cool. A summary of available resources is displayed on the top right of you. I know that. Come on. That's basic stuff. You can customize resources displayed by left clicking on them. Oh, cool. So you have a set number of things. Then you can click and be like, I want to say hemp clothing here. Okay, I'm going to leave it as is, though. That's pretty awesome. Let me build. Some, I'm going to build some houses before the next. Uh, build a well. Obviously did it already. Yeah, come on, guys. Directly correlates to how many citizens are able to inhabit a given home. Yep. Now, did I... Dude, I... How did I do that? How did I know? I'm telling you, I'm such an expert at these games. <laughs> I don't know how many houses to build. I'm going to build a bunch of them. There we are. We're going to build a super block. 
There we are, getting some houses. Oh, why does that say no water? Producing water, 0%. Well, I have no employees there. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, wait, why don't I have employees there? Hmm, is it because you just go and you work it and then it produces water? I also have no employees here and no employees here. So, hang on. Fewer logger camps. Like, like very few of those, how about? But maybe a few more in the logging camp. No, even that's fine. Okay, so now, surely, some of you guys are gonna start work. Why does nobody wanna work in my house, in my, in my place? Look, I built you all houses. Yeah, honestly, the graphics are really nice. It looks really quite pretty. Oh, I need to build more, though. All right, how many can I build? No, let's keep, yeah, because we might have need more buildings over there. So let's go here. You, move. The camera's nice, it's uh, smooth, and it could just be my computer, but I find it just a hair sluggish. But overall, I don't mind it. There we go. So, like, our village is really coming along already, but I'm not sure. Okay, these people are needing to house. Okay, we got employees now. We got employees here. So it's producing water. Very good. We have some employees here. There was just some, like, some lead, some lead time. We got one employee working the farm. So we probably just didn't have enough people. Unemployed zero of 20. Yeah, so we basically, yeah, we just used them up right away. Can I get one person here, please? To understand the function of each of the various structures you can build, simply click on the help button. All right, fine, I'll do it. This is already far. Some of you watching that know this channel are already like, oh, he's learning about what each building does? That's not what solid content does. People are only willing to move into these spaces once the required needs are gone. Okay. Yeah, I know that. Hell, okay. Yeah, yeah. We can read. See, I'm still not going to read all that. Wait, what was that seven? Okay, happiness is low. What do they need? Firewood. We don't have any workers in here, so we need to get some workers going. One person in there. How about? There we are. That's going to... Got to force a... An employee in here. Okay, let's pause for a second. I'm sure there's going to be a management screen. Jobs, here we go. Okay, we got five builders. Unemployed, one of 20. Oh, what was that? A priority button of some kind. Uh, primitive stockpile is probably pretty good to have somebody at. Let's go quarry or camp. I'm going to put that right down at the bottom. Apple orchard. Let's move that up. Well seems pretty important too. So what else? Uh, logging camp maybe. We put that at the bottom. We got to put some stuff at the bottom. I can't wait for this tutorial to tell me about that. <laughs> too late. Already figured it out. Expand the health topic. Oh, wait. Ugh. Tutorials. Yeah, what about it? The measure of citizens' health, okay, yeah. Oh, dear. Any wounded citizens or soldiers heal over time, but sometimes they can be suffering from the flu. As soon as I said that, Mrs. Solid coughed. She is dying of consumption. Low happiness can significantly impact your province. Tell me about it. The following effects may result. Province is so Canadian. Uh, income is reduced. Production. Okay, well, that's sad. Don't tell me about all that. Do you guys still not have homes? What's happening with you? Get, go get it. Build them some more homes then. What's all this no homes business about? Farmer house. There is something nice about games when they just make, like all the buildings are of a certain size. I think the challenge is obviously you don't do that and then and then the player has to like figure out how to, well, I don't know what that was. Them all dying maybe. There we are, let's get a couple more houses and try to house these fools. What do you suppose this means? This must mean something else. No, I think it means, yeah, it's these two. It's got to be the workers don't have homes, which I, I feel like we've made enough homes. There's so many homes. Get out of here. Look, we don't even have. Okay, eh, whatever. Oh, click the happiness resor on the resource bar. Okay, okay. Yeah. What about it? If 20 or more individuals of the same class are discontent, there's a chance they might begin to revolt. Okay, that means everybody that we only have 20 affected by buildings. Uh, class income is reduced by 20. Oh, okay. Oh, cumulative. Oh, my goodness. So, unhappiness is basically the end of the game. Yeah, the, open the job menu. I already did. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I knew this. Adjust the priority of the wood chopper. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to die from the consumption. To view the job details of other classes of citizens or to investigate job efficiency in your other provinces, you can use the tabs looking in the top section of the jobs menu. Oh, so we don't even have this whole class of people yet. Okay. All right, game. You've got me. I, I like how like it's complicated in, but I'm still kind of, I'm looking at this all and I'm like, you know what? I actually do kind of understand, like I'm the information I'm getting, I'm understanding. <laughs> That's all I tried to say in so many words. Needs for supplies are beginning to outpace their ability to produce them. Ah, whoops. Increase our farming population by at least 40. Once complete, build a hemp farm outfitter fermenter. Once these structures are in place, we'll need to focus our attention on crafting highly valued resources. 50 cider. Okay. All right. There we go. So now, yeah, see, now it's it's launched me into this. I have, like, quite a lot of stuff to do. My apple orchard is looking nice, so that's probably going to be good. Still have a decent amount of food left, I think. Oh, they're adding. Still don't know why these people don't have... Okay, let's pause. Can I just, like, figure out what this person's deal is? Maybe it's, uh, yeah, okay, hang on. Needs met. So this ho house crossed out thing is because they don't have any firewood available. Are you guys still not? Okay, they're still doing it. Okay, we're, we're, we're working on it. Um, but we might not be making enough firewood for, like, do I have a consumption number? I would like to know what my consumption level is. Diplomacy, Tome of Knowledge, Stats. All right. Uh, firewood. Um, there we go. That's product. That's consumption. Amount consumed, amount produced. Uh, guys, <laughs> that's pretty hard to... <laughs> our day by day. Day by day. So apparently we're consuming zero this day. But we made 35. Like, uh, this is not... Interesting stats, but they're not quite... I would like to see, I would like to be able to hover over this, and I don't think that's too much to ask because a lot of games do this, but I would like to be able to hover over this and be like, oh crap, we aren't making enough. Um, let's bring this path out here. I don't know if they're just stuck on paths. Nope, build. Thank you. I don't know if, yeah, they don't, they clearly don't have to use paths, but I assume paths speed them up a bit, so we might as well make it a little quicker to get to things. Firewood is being made. Happiness is going up. Let's speed up time a little bit. Oh, we don't use the two. I don't know what the hot key is to speed up time. What about the, the uh, sometimes it's the, um, whatever these keys are, the dash keys, plus, minus. Ah, plus and minus. Oop, nope, just minus. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so you can slow down time. So I can go three times, and then I can go minus, minus. Okay, where is it? Let's find that. Come on. It's got to be somewhere. Controls. Uh, time. Increase game speed. <laughs> Is my plus key full of orange juice? My plus key won't work. Okay, okay. Fun story. On my numpad, the plus key works, but the minus key does not work. On my standard, like the, on the keyboard side, my minus key works, but my plus key doesn't work. <laughs> Listen, this is why you have the best... I have the best gear in the bi the biz. I love the way this farm looks. So far, art, A+. And again, this isn't a review. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm just saying, like, looking at it is quite nice. Um, your population, uh, 20... Uh, how does one... Let's look at the... Ho I think they need to, like, live together, and then they make a bebe. Or we probably have uh, immigrants come in. Uh, how do we do this? Happiness, health, happiness, gains, penalties, real estate, needs and luxuries. Mm, no, that's not what I want. Like, where's the button that's like, you know, advertise that we're open. I think it's going to be based on, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, bonage. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, re okay. I have a hundred coins that I could spend on something. A boost of the food stores keeps your growing kingdom well fed. It'd be wise to expand storage capabilities, but delivery speed is a concern. Uh, if I click on this, I don't know what the options are. Unlock stockpile. 
Ooh, okay, that's cool. It says rely on nearby wells. Apple farm bonus. Farmer house bonus. No expense to be spared. Ah, okay. Okay, so I was worried that if I clicked on one of these, it would be like a roll of the dice and I would be done. I would just have to live with it. Cost of building a farmer's house decreases by 80%, but the chance of fire increases. Oh, I love this. Very it's monkey paws options, you know what I mean? We'll raise the happiness level. Farmers, but quality buildings cost 100%. Ah, okay, very cool. So you're kind of, you got to be careful. You pick your poison. Except for this one where you, that's this is fine. <laughs> I don't know what that was for. Oh, here we go. The yield of firewood is increased by three, but the recipe requires plus one rough stone. Oh, dude, I love this. So you can really pick your, and then you get into the tiers. Okay, this is clever. This is very clever. Production of firewood increased by one, but at plus one additional worker must be employed. That could actually be good once you have the people. All right, so the Tome of Knowledge is sweet. It did not lead me to making more humans. I think I, honestly, I just need to, like, manage workers and fill their needs. We actually don't need this many... I'm going to take this down by two so we can stock other things and make sure we have staff here. How am I doing on logs? Logs are still doing well with very few, with only two staff. Stones are still rolling in because we don't have much else. To, oh, Adelie Weimar joined the kingdom. We're at 21 now. Okay, that's it. We just make them happy. We make the houses and we keep going from there. Okay, this can work. I think we've got a good little city going here. Let's take a quick scroll through my options. Courier, logger, miner camp. Probably don't need mining yet. Primitive stockpile, food stores, well. A trader's hut, a vault, and an infirmary. Okay. That's in logistics. Farmer structures. I've unlocked some new ones, apparently. So more apples. Hemp farm. Wheat farm. Farmer house is highlighted. I don't know why. It's trying to remind me to build more houses, I guess. Fermenter requires 40 farmers to unlock. Oh, and there's upkeep. I do. Okay, well, I'm making, I'm making tax. That's good. Lumber yard requires 44. What does it do, though? Because there's a log chopper. This must be planks. I bet it makes planks. I don't see planks here as, like, a resource, though. Outfitter. Pork ranch. And a stable. Oh, yeah, no, there's planks. I see planks. So the lumber yard probably makes planks. So that's a resource that I haven't unlocked yet. Okay, what else we have here? Laborer structures. Let's take a look. A craftsman, not enough planks. Uh, what is it? We just gotta. Maybe we'll, it'll tell us what it does when we unlock it. Cookhouse, I can figure out. Fishing dock. There's no water on this map, but I'm assuming we set up. I think the idea is that you set up other towns. Smelter, forester's hut, blacksmith, blacksmith. Oh, this is fun. This looks good. I like the look of this game, honestly. And that sometimes, like I said, what sets these games apart? It's the aesthetic. Do you like the Anno style of grid builder? Uh, do you like how it looks? I really like the newest one because, they, they you know, it looks really full. Like, all the people um, milling about your city looks very realistic, and I like that. But I, what I like about this one is, yeah, it's got a really nice art aesthetic to it. It's a little more realistic. A little more Stronghold vibes. Remember early Stronghold? I was so blown away by those graphics. Okay, I don't know. Just finish that road. Is there decorative? Military. Oh. Armory bear. Okay, I can't wait to unlock that. There's a lot going on, so I do like that. Demolition mode, war, military. Okay, very cool. Let's not do that right now. We just need to figure out a way that we can make people want to join us. Happiness is at 114. Three farmers join your... That's how you do it. You get that happiness just skyrocketing like that. We need to build more housing. Okay, so I can build, yeah, so this, and then the wells here. Yeah, so this area is, like, perfect for housing right up until, I think that's what they, they were saying it's color-coded, but yellow, I don't remember what the yellow stood for. I thought they were, like, blue is what, yeah, so blue, green is food, and this. So you add that together. Oh, hello. You add all that together, and blammo, you get your, this Venn diagram here of perfect coverage. One, two, three. Now we're kind of at the edge of our perfect coverage. Does R bring up a road? Okay, let's click on something else. R, R, no. I bet I could assign it, though. I, I like that in these grid builders. I like being able to pull up the uh, the road sign really fast. Events start settling in. Oh, no, what's this mean? 
The foundation of your settlement has been laid, but much must be done to encourage its growth. Your Curia, a small group of advisors, will help you find your way. Oh, no. I might have to remember all these names. Chancellor Booty Declan. I do not want to work with the Chancellor Booty. <laughs> There's All right, so you've got Booty Declan. You've got Donovan Stanton. These are from the remain from the Fallen King's Curia. And then there's, okay, here we go. This is better. Osian, Sir Osian Hayward. Much better name. I apologize to the Brodies and uh, Donovans that are watching this video right now. I do, I, I, I do like the name. It's just, it, like, I mean, look at him. Come on. This is his voice, by the way. The solution is easily found, Your Majesty. Without our people, we would not have come this far. Their resilience should be rewarded, instilling confidence and joy. Wait, what are you talking about? What do I have to do? Okay, now this guy, Ozian, we love him. It's true, Chancellor, that we've overcome much. The tragedies of the past are but a few uh, steps behind us. This is why we should focus on securing and protecting that, uh, what we're starting here. Only with a strong defense can we find the courage to rise once more. Thank you, Ozian. Oh, that's me. Both reasonable petitions. And then there's Donovan. <laughs> Yeah, your highness, uh, reasonable to be certain, yet uh, both overlooking that which most reliably maintains. I just want to get rid of two of my counselors. That's all, I promise. Without sufficient coin, it'll be... Okay, so it's money, uh, protection, and prosperity. Great, thanks for that, guys. Um, safety first above all else. Honestly, I think I got to go with this guy simply because I just don't like the other two. As such, we must remain on guard and procure the means to defend our fortify our fledgling kingdom. It was not long since, but side by side, we took up arms in defense of our beloved land and king. I'll never to protect you. Okay, yeah, you're both mistaken. Uh, well, now it's time to come to the coin. We must establish a sense of community first. Okay, Ooh, guys, I'm trying to... <laughs> okay, let us consult the chancellor. I agree, sir. I'm going full Hayward. ha <laughs> ha! He's honored to have your support. He informs you. This is interesting. I like the choice system. That's going to be, because it does seem like there's going to be some hard, maybe not hard choices, but like choices that you can't go back on. So we got iron, eight iron arms and eight leather. Event complete. Good event. Okay, events are fun. I like that. That sets it aside. Here we go with the day and night cycle. Again, looking really good. Not so dark that you can't see what you're doing. I like the flashlight following the, uh, the mouse. That's good, too. Yeah, this game's coming along. I don't know if we have enough people to run hemp farms yet. Let's take a look. Oh, un 12 unemployed people. I guess we can get started. Uh, what do we want to do? The uh, fermenter. I don't want to do outfits. I'm going to go out of the flax farm here. Oh, I see. I can't really do... I was hoping to have it wrap around behind the thing. There you go here. We'll just establish another one right behind it just to give that effect. I think that'll look nice. There we are. So, two flax farms there. That's going to start bringing up my flax supplies. Okay, it looks like there is... Okay, yeah. There is a an amount of things it can hold on to. So, you do need to be wary of what you're filling your, you know, area, your, your crops with or whatever. Flax... Okay, this. I wonder if this is going to be a problem. Not quite in range of this primitive storage. And I can't make this one bigger. So we can store 500 flax here, which means we can't make too much more. Otherwise, we'll outpace the ability to use up the flax and then end up with a full full storage. Okay, so that's good to know. Let's speed up time here, so I'm going to go over to my numpad to hit the plus button. See if this works. Two more farmers joining the kingdom. We're up to 35 now. We've built a flax farm. Built a hemp farm. Wait, did we do... F yeah, flax first. Okay, let's, do, let's go Let's go hemp. Let's go three. I can put farmer's houses here, but I bet I can get an infirmary there, and I, th I think that would look nice. All right, so now we just need hemp clothing, a cider being produced... Uh, with the fermenter. What does the fermenter take? F f hemp, I get? No, wait, what? Flax? No. Flax oil, unique. Okay, yeah. Hemp clothing. Wheat farm. 
Herb garden. I owe apples. I guess you could just take your, yeah, it's probably going to consume apples. Uh, one would assume. So we just need to hit that 40 level. Do I have enough housing for that? 7 of 36. Good. Are you going to tell me how many housing, how much room I have in my houses? Or do I have to just guess? I think I have to guess. So we might as well fill in this area before we need to start thinking about building another little mini community. I'm going to bring this path out, but I'm not going to cap it off because I think what we can do... Or I guess we can just keep building south. Are they actually consuming the wood? They are not. So these are just like areas of... Like I don't think the trees are going to get... Uh, that's hard to tell. Unless I sit here and watch, I don't know if they're actually going to do away with the trees. And then eventually I'll have to replant them or something. All right, so we're at 40 now. Let's slow down here. We've most likely unlocked the things we need. We need the outfitter. It produces hemp clothing and sandals and leather. Okay, and it needs to be near the storage. <coughs> Excuse me. We got a touch of the consumption, you see. Okay, we need to get the... Okay, let me convert the logs into planks. We do like logs being turned into planks. So I'll just put that next to the woodcutter. We may have to... In, oh, we're out, out of logs, actually. Okay. There we are. Let's fill that up. Let's get some more stone going, because we're probably going to start using it up. Expand our range. Oh, I don't know if we need to do that. There we are. Okay. Okay, so they're going to build that. Oh, yeah, we just need some more logs. Er, er, Enrico Swan. Well, welcome aboard, Enrico Swan. I don't think we make... I don't think they make babies. I don't think there are babies in this game. Maybe later. And the ferment. Oh, I like that it's small. We greatly appreciate the smallness of it. I'm going to put it right next to the... Actually, can I move it? Nah, it's too late. We should have put it near the uh, apples. I could put another apple farm back here, actually. There we are. Speed up time again. Just need to wait for a few more logs here. 50... I like, this is also very intuitive. I like seeing the meter fill up. Everyone does it in their own way. Obviously, Ostriv as well has a really complicated way where you can kind of track your production and your means and, and like what's getting built and when. But, uh, but it works for that style. I wish there was a decorative tab. That's all I can ask for. Might need another well. I mean, it's filling the purposes here. Everyone seems happy. Honestly, I could see arguments for both, I will say. I can see where you... Oh, the vagabond. Okay, we're going to do that event in a second. I can see the situation where you're like, um, oh, this game is just like all the others. Like, there is a... Okay, we are making hemp clothing. That's kind of what we needed. Um, and I could and I could see you being like, oh, yeah, this isn't for me. And I think I understand why. But I'm going to say right now that this one is definitely for me. There is a lot of, of the same kind of vibe as a lot of grid builders. But the aesthetic is is different. The um, it's very pleasing to look at. These guys can have a bit more life in them, but I mean, you know, what am I, a game developer? Uh, really, oh, look at the, like the, just the way the buildings kind of look laid out is is quite uh, satisfying to look at. Changing up the models would be nice, but again, this is early access, right? So this is the base level. This is like Space Haven, like six years ago. You know what I mean? Uh, where are they gonna go? What are they gonna add to this game if we continue to support it? Uh, and I think I will be. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this game. Like, we could do a series, maybe. Because what I like is an integrated tutorial. I like that the tutorial is just getting me through some of the basics. Guiding me, rather than being, like, a separate save game or something that's, like, uh, holding my hand and has a pre-built village. Now, that being said, if you're playing, like, Workers and Resources, so you're above, you definitely need those kind of tutorials where the village is, is already functional. Because, my goodness. <laughs> But yeah, straightforward, easily accessible. If you want a game that is going to be harder, I'm sure it gets harder later. I will say that, though. I bet it gets harder later once you get a lot of stuff to manage. Okay, now, what's its issue? Why is it question marking me? I want to make cider. It's expensive. I do need... So the question mark is that it's probably going to collect the resources it needs, the three employees. Could throw up another well right here, because how many unemployed people do I have? Oh, zero. Okay. No, just need to go get fire. Okay, wait. Now what's going on? Still don't have firewood. Are we not making enough firewood? Twenty-two. Yeah, we aren't making very much firewood. Where's my fire chopper? 
That's maxed out, so I need probably another fire chopper, I think. Uh, labor structures, no, logistics. Where is it? This is that part of the game where I don't, underst I don't understand the icons I'm looking at. Logging camp, farmer structure. Here it is, wood chopper. We could just put it right there. Primitive storage is a stockpile is right there. So what if we just put it back here? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. It's definitely messed up my plans here. Night falls on the town of a a Asnor. There's an event to complete, and we've moved on to the next set of tutorials here to understand edicts. But for now, I'm going to leave it there, and I pose the question to you. What do you all think of this game? Is this kind of a game for you? I know that a lot of, you know, a lot of, the, you know, the comments on the Steam page are kind of talking about how it's, oh, it's the same as other grid builders. But, like, what? come on, guys, what are we doing here? Of course it's going to be having some similarities. I like the choice system and the counselors. That kind of seems easy. Maybe because it's just a tutorial mode, it, I got on top of things very easily, and I'm sure things get more complicated the further in-game you get, and you're trying to manage, like, a bunch of settlements and, like, hundreds of, of farmers. And then, of course, one thing we haven't gotten to is the combat. We haven't gotten to the fact that there is some RTS-style combat that's going to happen in this village when, when and if we uh, get attacked by interlopers, or, I assume, the purples. They have a lot of territory. So I would like to expand mine and take Roloku and, and, and start moving over here. Like, really just kind of take these here to give myself a little bit of a bulwark against Wyrmaxia, or however you pronounce that. Can I zoom in on Wyrmaxia? Oh, I can, but I see nothing. Oh, very cool. Love the map again. Nissimor will be mine. Will it be yours? Tell me in the comments below. I think that's a good outro. I've done, like, four outros already. And then my outfitter is out of flax right now that's fine i can just make more flax fields we have some workers now waiting and looking for jobs there is something about this game i think it's the way i would say it is it has bite do you know what i mean where it's like oh yeah i'll keep playing this i don't know why but there's something that's probably going to draw me back to it so if you want to see more on the channel let me know but for this video and for me that is all and i will see you all in the next video of whatever it is i decide to play good night asnor